What's good guys, welcome to another vlog. This week has been boring for the most part, but we're about to spice this up and get this vlog popping. A few things that I gotta do right now is I have to shoot some B-roll for the Aperture MX and M9 lights. I hope I got that right. You guys know, uh, I actually unboxed this light. This is just a package. Uh, but if you remember this from the vlog with my 100K, uh, I have to do some shots for this light because I just recently did a video regarding this which should be out by the time you watch this so just click above on this info card to check it out because these lights are freaking awesome. I'm actually using one right here to hit the side of my face like this. These things just, they just enhance when you're using practicals in spaces and outdoors. So this video was dope. I just have to shoot the b-roll for the actual light to put it in the actual video which will be out by the time you see this and you should watch it after you watch this vlog and drop this a like and drop that a like but uh i gotta get some overhead shots of the lights i got some packages that i feel like i should just unbox with the vlog because i'm about to do some overhead work anyways to give it a little bit more content because who knows what this week is gonna hold but when i set up my overhead setup i want to show you guys it's because i don't know if you guys know what i use for my overhead rig setups but I want another solution. So if you guys know of any other overhead solutions for overhead rigging to get overhead shots in videos, let me know down in the comments because I'm interested in getting something else because my rig is just not big enough for the wideness of the shots that I want to get in my videos, if that makes sense. Uh, but let's just get straight into it. Do not mind the office, first of all. I got a lot of crap and stuff going on, but this is the overhead rig. This is my overhead rig and uh, it's pretty convenient and cool. Basically my camera mounts right here, shoots down to whatever is under it, but as you can see, it's not much space in between these two legs, which would mean that the boxes and the overall space that I can use to achieve my overhead videos is just not enough for what I'm gonna do. But let me know down in the comments if you guys got a better idea for what I should do. I got some C-stands in the house, maybe I can use those. I don't know, let me know, let me know, let me know. But uh, let's just get into this unboxing. All right, so this is the first box of a few, not that many. It's not gonna be super long. I just wanna, you know, throw this in here to add some extra content into the vlog. So this is a package from Nike. I need some new workout gear because your boy has been slacking in the working out department. So hopefully this will motivate me to get out there and get it popping, man. Just got some Nike track pants, nothing too serious, nothing, not too much going on, man. I needed some new gear though. I definitely did. I really only had like one pair of uh, track pants. My shoes that I was working out in started to stink because I was going hard in them. So this is just a care pack from Nike. Next box. I've been into shoes for years. Lately, I haven't been buying much shoes because I've been spending all my money on gear and I'm a dad and my son needs shoes and shoes are just not the best habit to have. So. I have tons of shoes though, I have tons of shoes, I have too many shoes, so this is probably not the best purchase, but I got me some new kicks as well. These are more so going to be working out for, but I'm going to be rocking these on my lounge days as well. These are Flyknit Trainers, yellow colorway, these are pretty fresh, uh, and these are going to look dope on my feet, a lot doper than they look in this uh, silhouette on this overhead shot. In the midst of looking for this actual box, I found another box and not even a box. I found another package that kind of sort of spooked me out because I wasn't expecting it and I had no clue who it was from, but. Hold on, let me get a knife real quick. I don't know who packaged this up. I ain't gonna get at you on the package inside because I appreciate this, but y'all gotta, gotta get this together, man. Together. So look, this is a care pack from the homies OTM, man. This is like Drew and them, my homies, my clients. They sent me a care pack of tees, hoodies, and I wasn't even expecting this. So when I got it, I was sketched out. Got the OTM sweatshirt. All of this stuff is fire, man. I greatly appreciate it. I had no idea that they were going to send me this. I have no clue what the sizing is on this. Uh, I'm gonna have to give some of this stuff to somebody else because they sent me some doubles. I'm gonna shoot some dope footage for this though. Oh no, this is actually a hoodie, so this is completely different. Hoodie crew neck, T, another T, and we got a ton of OTM hats. Your boy doesn't need a rock hat, but y'all about to, y'all about to make me put some hats on, man. 
this is the dopest one, yo. If y'all just so happen to see this vlog, this is the most fire color that y'all can have. But uh, cutest cinematics. It's the same old story repeating itself again. So we're crossing borders, happiness to So right now I'm headed downtown to go grab me some coffee. One, just to get out of the house. Two, to grab some energy. Three, to film some stuff. I find myself not leaving the house to go film stuff for my vlog anymore like I used to. Like Vlogging used to make me want to actually go do stuff, but I've gotten past that. And I feel like progressively my vlogs have not gotten worse, but they're missing that element that they used to have. So I'm gonna attempt to try to get out a little bit more, film a little bit more, uh, and do a little bit more as well. I'm sitting at that desk a little bit too often, which is great because I'm completing things and doing what I need to do, but uh, you know, just for the vlog aspect uh, and seeing things and stuff like that. Us as people, we tend to get very numb to where we live and the places that we go to on the daily. So it's like, Man, yeah, I've been downtown a hundred times, I don't ever wanna go. But at the same time, it's just a million different ways that you can film the same thing to make it look different. So, uh, it's all about challenging ourselves and challenging uh, our creative eye and doing something different. Not to say that we will always do something different, but if you put a different spin on something, it will look different. So, I said all of that to say that I'm going downtown to get some coffee, crazy. <laughs> I think that that looks fine. Man, I'm having such a hard time from being lazy. A word to you guys of advice, do not be lazy, man. What I've been doing lately with these vlogs and videos is, hold on real quick. What I've been doing lately is, I left my, hold on, framing, leading lines, ooh, you see it. Uh, but <laughs> what I've been doing is I've been using my camera on the neutral profile and it's baking the look into the footage this is just me being lazy i don't want to have to add contrast and try to get these tones and colors right i've just been using that and then apply my LUT at a very low uh intensity and it's been working for the most part but it's also been screwing my shadows because a lot of this data has just gone so i'm gonna stop this after this video stop being lazy and i've also been using auto white balance which has been screwing me and it screwed me in my video that I just recorded, but not anymore, man. Don't be lazy. Just do what you got to do to get the look that you're trying to achieve. Don't cut corners. Yesterday, though, uh, I went out and I was attempting to shoot a video for Keys. Not attempting. I shot a little bit of it. Just didn't finish. Here's a quick look at that. Yeah. Look. On my block, they don't merely rock, nigga. We from the bottom, it's about time we see the top, nigga. Keep a third eye open, that all times you gotta watch, niggas. If black don't trust you, guarantee you getting shot, nigga. And we moving silence, we gon' move silence. And we moving silence, we gon' move silence. And we moving silence, we gon' move silence. Ay, ay, girl niggas moving silence. Look, on my block, they don't merely rock, nigga. We from the the footage was really cool and it was different because I have not taken out my tripod. I've not taken my tripod out of my house for the longest. It's just been sitting in my office and it really reminded me to revert back to the basics every now and then. Reverting back to the basics is something that you can do to remind yourself why you started something, how it was when you started, to kind of reignite a flame and a passion that you once had for something. Not to say that I'm losing my passion for film, but it just reverts you back to an older time when 
things meant a little bit more to you. So I'm definitely gonna be using my tripod a lot more. And the crazy thing about it is I haven't been you I haven't used my Ronin in literally months. I literally cannot remember the last time that I used my DJI Ronin and that was for a long time the only thing that I was using, which is nuts to me. So I don't know man. I don't not like the Ronin. Hold on. Sun's incoming. I don't not like the Ronin, don't get me wrong. I love the Ronin, I love gimbals. Uh, I just want to be able to use my Ronin only when it's necessary. I was just overusing it and I was using it in every scenario. And I don't feel like that is what it is for. I just don't feel like, I just, that's just me though. Use your gimbal as much as you want to. You want to use it all the time, do your thing. I've just been using my shoulder rig for a really, really, really long time. What's up? Hello. I'm uh I'm documenting, like like vlogging. It's like you follow yourself throughout the day and then you document it and then you put it into a video, share it onto like online. Yeah, I'm a freelancer. Yeah, that's what's up. Yeah, they got to. You could, yeah, gotta be. Yeah, I'm out in like the complete open downtown talking to my camera. And it's not weird. It was weird at one point in time, but it's not now. Uh if you want to get over a fear and get into a mode of doing something, just continue to do it and it'll eventually become natural and not awkward or weird. It's kind of cool out here right now and this this coffee is, coffee is doing me justice right now, keeping me warm.